of Mongolia, 24 years old, and we are underway. Mongolia coming out in the red, the blue for Nikki of India. Nikki really has heavy hands watching her throughout her career. She's been really on the world stage, the continental stage, for roughly nine years at the senior level. Hasn't always been in there, but more times than not, India has sent her out to represent. Her first world championship experience was back in 2015. And I think she caught some hair. Passivity warning as well. Next time it will be the activity clock for Niki. Inkamar had a strong run in Oslo last year. She wrestled at 72. She's been 72 the past couple of years. She ended up with a fifth place finish coming up just shy of the bronze medal. Good power surge by Inka Marr, and she'll get the step out. Yeah, she won the leverage battle that time. She was the lower of the two, and she just kept driving Niki, who has a pretty good low center of gravity to begin with. But even the strength of Niki could not withstand the push. So Inka Marr with a 1-0 advantage. Halfway through period one. And we're going to get the activity clock now. Second time they've worn Nikki, so she will have 30 seconds put up by her name and a chance for Inkamar to extend the lead. Clock out, passivity point, Mongolia. There's a straight on shot by Nikki, she nearly got there. She's gonna keep coming at you. And Gamar circles it back into the center. So in this first period, in Kamar has, has been able to match the Real heavy and violent hands that Nikki likes to use. Short time wrestling. Inside 10 seconds to go. See if either wrestler has anything left to try to pull off some last second magic. Nope, they do not. They will head to their corners. And they will talk to their coaches. Three minutes in, three minutes coming up for bronze medal. Mongolia already has won three bronze tonight. They are very quietly having a good night in front of their home crowd. Inka Mar trying to add to the total. Oslo was really her coming out party at the Worlds. I don't think a lot of people were expecting the run that she went on. Won her first couple of matches, pushed deep into the tournament, eventually earned a shot in the bronze medal bout, lost it. But clearly she's building off the momentum that she earned at one of the premier events in the calendar year. All right, let's see what adjustments get made for Nikki. You want at least to try to put some pressure on Inka Marr, get her on the clock for once. Inka Marr digs in a right arm underhook. Brings that left arm behind the neck of Nikki Nikki. Nikki, though, just so strong, clears it out. Now Inka Marr from space into the double. Look at Nikki just kind of bellow into her. And Inka Marr was like a... A trap just waiting to catch it. That was a real odd defense from Nikki. She just kind of belly flopped toward Inka Moore, and Inka Moore caught her and took her right to the two. <laughs> I would love to see a replay of that. That was, that was creative defense from Nikki. I don't think I've ever seen that where you're just going to lead with your belly and from your knees jump forward. 
4-0 now. Mongolia in the driver's seat. Two minutes to go. Niki frustrated. She just can't get to where she wants. She keeps coming, though. Now she got caught standing. There's the strength that Niki has, and she will get the two. That's what we've been waiting for. She's a real rugged, physical wrestler. That's her style. That's how she wants the match. Unable to work anything from par tear so back to the feet we go 67 seconds she just kind of grinds at you for six minutes it takes a toll and we're going to find out what type of endurance the mongolian has now needs to be careful a takedown would give the criteria to niki a couple of two-point moves for inkamar 50 seconds to go Nikki getting those hands up around the face. Constantly scratching, constantly clawing, trying to use her heavy grips to throw off the opponent. This time the two wrestlers get their fingers interlocked. Negative wrestling, so the referee will stop it. That's all right for Nikki. You can't get much done from that. A takedown will win her the bronze medal. 17 seconds, Sinkamar trying to hang on. And again, the referee is wanting to give a caution and it is going to be confirmed, caution and one in freestyle, it's caution and two in Greco. So that opens it up a little bit more. Now a cushion of a three point lead, plus you get the tiebreaker with that caution issued, and Mongolia has won another match tonight. You always enjoy seeing the host country have success with their wrestlers, and this crowd was gathered on a Friday night. They're having some fun. Their bronze medalists have performed well. Another victory, this time it's Inkamar, and she is a senior Asian medalist for the first time.